Hey, what's up, collectors? Jim here with another figure review, and tonight I'm taking a look at the Mega Constructs Alien Xenomorph. Now, these are pretty neat. These are just little tiny, probably like two, three inch figures with about, you know, um, six to eight points of articulation or something like that. They're definitely on the small side, but they are pretty neat. This is the packaging that does come with. You have the Mega Construct, you have an image of the figure. Alien Series 1, you got the little base Xenomorph on it. Mega Construct, the bottom has that, top has that. On the back, you do have the other characters in uh, Series 1. I've already picked up the He Man and the Skeletor, but I told myself the next time I see a uh, Xenomorph, I wanted to pick him up. So I did. So let's pop him out of the packaging and take a look. Okay, and here he is all out of the packaging. And again, we do get some instructions. It basically just shows you all the parts that are, you know, in the packaging, it's telling you how to pop the tail onto the little ball joint there, how to make the base. And it always shows how to build the figure, even though it's basically put together for you. I did have to snap this part of his arm on there that was not in the packaging. But um, it's basically just pot taking this piece, pop this in here like so. And then you just take this piece and pop that in like so. And that is for the base, so he has something to stand on. But uh, this this one's pretty, pretty neat, I gotta say. It's pretty cool. The tail is on a on a little ball joint, so that's pretty, pretty neat. Let me get him up here, take a closer look here. But yeah, I mean, really, really cool. There is a opening in his mouth, and I kind of thought it would come with, you know, that uh, extra piece. But uh, there is nothing in the packaging for that, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Because there's definitely a hole, hole up in there, you know? Um, I guess you could te technically maybe put the face hugger or something in his mouth, but... That would have been cool if they would have added an extra piece that you could put in his mouth. But, I mean, the sculpting... It's pretty neat. There's a little bit of silver dry brushing kind of on the uh, tail, on the arms here. Are these things that cl clamp on over his hands? And then looking at the rest of the body, you get some nice little you know sculpted details in there. So for it being you know pretty you know only five bucks, which I think are still kind of expensive for something like this, but it still is pretty neat. There is a, a quite a bit of detail in these little guys and then there's the bottom of the feet that you can you know port into the base just to get them to stand better because this one doesn't really I guess you could get him to stand up just, yeah if you kind of balance him right he will stand on his own but this is pretty neat it comes with this little kind of rubbery uh, face hugger here with really no paint detail whatsoever but there is some sculpt in it and then it comes with this which I am not 100% sure what this is but again, it's done. I think it's just a. I think it's a, a face hugger, isn't it? Just kind of like wrapped around. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's a, so you could like put this on another, um, probably mega construct figure that you have. You can wrap this on the face. So that's pretty neat. But I mean, as far as articulation, I do like that the, that the tail does pop off. It's basically just on a little ball there. So you can spin that around, and there's a little bit of play forward and back. So that's neat. So you get nice movement with that. The head can turn. It can go up and down. It goes up actually quite a bit. Down. Nice detail in the in the in the head. Very very cool. I do like that quite a bit. But the head does go up and down, and it does rotate. Of course, it does kind of you know hit these back parts here, but you can get it up and over. So you can pretty much turn his head 360 degrees all the way around. These are, as you can see, a little bit on the soft side. The arms just have little, you know, hinges and swivels, but they come out really nice. Look at that, more than 90 degrees. Of course, that will swivel all the way around. You do have a, another, like, kind of ball, a hinge, hinge and swivel at the elbow, so that'll go about 90 degrees, swivel all the way around. And I believe the hands swivel, too. Yep, the hands do swivel. It kind of has like Lego hands, but I'm guessing so. That's that's so you can probably, you know, put one of these face huggers in his hand or something if you wanted to. And these just 
these parts just kind of clip on over it. Um, this one even has a waist cut, so you can, you know, twist at the waist. The legs spread out about that much, kick forward about that much. Oh, go back about that much. Pop that back in there. You do have a single bend at the knee. And that's it. The feet do not swivel or anything. So, I mean, overall, that's, that's a pretty, pretty cool little figure, I gotta say. It's definitely neat. And I do like how it comes with um, a couple extra accessories, too. So, that's pretty cool because let me get him on there. Now, as far as a height, he's like two inches. Pretty much at two inches. Now, um, here is the He Man and the Skeletor figure that I got in the same. Mega Construct line. These are really the only three that I'm really, really worried about. I mean, depending on what other series bring, I might maybe pick up some more because they are pretty neat. But um, that's the the scaling between them two. And here is a. Let me get this. Here's an actual Xenomorph. So I'll bring this out. Just to show you the difference, yeah, quite a bit of a uh, size difference. So these are definitely on the small side, but they're neat. You know, they're nice to kind of put up on the top of your shelf. They're not going to take up a lot of room. Just a little something cool and fun to add to your collection. But yeah, guys, that is the Mega Constructs Aliens Xenomorph figure. Really, really neat. Uh, but thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.